Bermuda National Athletics Association would like to introduce the 2018 Carifta Athletics Team. We are very pleased with the team that has been selected and have no doubt they will represent us very well. We have a quality team with athletes who have committed themselves to this sport and have given their best to gain a place on the team. So I will now introduce to you Bermuda's 2018 Carifta team. Starting with the under 17 girls, we have Jesse Marshall, who will be competing in the 1500 meters. We have Taylor Hines, who will be competing in the 200 meters. We have Tilly Norman, who will be competing in the 1500 and the 3000 meters. We have Amelia Othman, who will be competing in the high jump. So that's our under 17 females team. In the under 20 girls, we have Sakari Famous, who will be competing in the high jump, and Sakari will be our team captain. We have Ashley Irby, who will be competing in the 1500 meters. And we have Isabel Dutrona, who will be competing in the 3000 meters. So that is our under 20 girls team. Moving on to the boys, we have the under 17 boys, Clavante Lodge will be competing in the 200 and 400 meters. We have Ryan Otterbridge, who will be competing in the 15 and 3,000 meters. And we have Nairobi Mills, who will be competing in the 800 meters. So that's our under 17 boys. The under 20 boys, we have Elisha Darrell, who will be competing in the high jump, and he is our team captain. We have Jundal Cumberbatch, who will be competing in the 5,000 meters. We have Robert Edwards, who will be competing in the 5,000 meters. And we have Danielle Brangman, who will be competing in the 400 meters. The team officials who will be traveling with us will be Mia Black, who is the team manager. We have Rohan Simons, who is the coach. And Wayne Bean, who is also one of our coaches. You will notice that Brianna Mendez, who was, has not been mentioned, as she has had to withdraw from the team due to her conflict in university studies. Unfortunately, I was looking forward to seeing Brianna compete, but sometimes schoolwork comes before athletics. The team will, departing, will be departing Bermuda Wednesday, March 28th, and returning to Bermuda Tuesday, April the 3rd. The games take place in Bahamas from Saturday, March the 31st, to Monday, April the 2nd, with the opening ceremony being held Friday, March the 30th. I will be traveling to Bahamas as well, but in the capacity of the organizational delegate, which I was selected to this role by our National Athletics Region, NACAC. I have recently returned from a trip to Bahamas where I met with the local organizing committee to review their plans, accommodations, meal plans, transportation, etc., confirming that everything will be in order to receive the Carifta teams. I have to say, I believe this is going to be a great event and I'm really, really looking forward to it and the athletes should be looking forward to it as well. Just to advise, Bermuda will be submitting our bid to host the 2020 Carifta Games. With the support of government, I feel confident that, 2020, that in 2020, we will have Bermuda bubbling with excitement as we did with Carifta 2012, where we were, when we are awarded the 2020 Carifta Games. I am also excited when I look at our young athletes who are coming up, and I have no doubt Bermuda will have a very strong athletics team representing Bermuda in 2020. Some of the athletes who just missed out on this year's standards will get stronger and be ready to showcase their talents right here in Bermuda. The last thing that I want to talk to you about, before we get to any questions regarding the team or Carifta 2020, we would also like to announce an initiative by the BNA, BNAA to assist with the cost of sending this team to the Carifta Games 
which is called Laps for Health. This event will take place this coming Sunday, March the 18th, from 12 to 6 p.m. at the National Sports Center track. Participants can run or walk a lap at any time with a $2 donation per lap. Get your family or friends to sponsor your laps. Our hope is that we have people of all walks of life filling the track at any time between those hours and walk or run as many laps as they can and assist in sending this team to Bahamas. Not only will they be assisting the team, but also joining in the country's initiative to fight obesity and diabetes. We are partnering, partnering with the Minister, Ministry of Health, and we will hear from Marie Beach to say a few words regarding this initiative. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the Minister of Health, the Honorable Kim Wilson, JPMP, I wish to congratulate all of the athletes who've been chosen to represent Bermuda in this year's Carifta Games. The Laps for Health event um, was brought to us by the Bermuda National Athletics Association in the person of Mrs. Rayner and Mia Black. And the Department of Health is very excited because this event aligns with what we're trying to do in uh, motivating Bermuda's population to be more physically active, but also to keep the focus on halting the rise of obesity and diabetes. As you may recall, Bermuda has one of the highest rates of diabetes and obesity in the world, and also uh, amputations as a result of diabetes. The Laps for Health aligns with what Department of Health is trying to do. As I said earlier, we also have um, an interministerial steps challenge called the 100 Million Steps Challenge, where 11 ministries have been paired with middle schools from the government and private sectors. And the employees of each ministry will compete against other ministries, the winning ministry uh, that is paired with that school will have the school receive $5,000. Also, as a part of the Premier Youth Fitness Program, um, all the students from P5 to Senior 2 received a weekly physical activity logbook. And as a part of the 100 Million Steps Challenge, we encouraged all the students to continue logging their physical activity minutes and the winning student with the highest, that has the highest number of physical activity minutes will also win a prize. And lastly, the Laps for Health initiative aligns very nicely with the national sports policy, which not only promotes youth sports, but also community health and wellness. So again, thank you, Bermuda National Athletics Association for partnering with the Ministry of Health, and congratulations to all of the athletes. Thank you. So the last thing that I want to say, um, as you see, we have a team of 14 athletes. And as we talked about the um, Carifta 2020 bid that we have, I just want to show that this will be our logo for Carifta 2020.